Hola amigos y amigas, welcome back. I'm putting up a black backdrop for my son's party, but first we're gonna go ahead and blow up all these black balloons. I know what you guys are thinking, black on black, but just trust me, I'm gonna add a little bit of color once I get this balloons going. I did recommend this air machine for your balloons a while back in my videos but honestly guys i have been struggling a bit with it i have to make sure i hold on or that just happens right there where all the parts start to fall apart it still works out but there is a much better and smaller one at walmart and target so i'm gonna pick that one up for my next party but for now we use this one the balloons turned out just fine so now i'm just putting them together and i'm putting them on the string and this is how they're looking so far i'm gonna finish it up and then we're gonna add it to the backdrop so it's pretty much done guys and i'm just putting on the last set of balloons here so here it is and now we're going to go in with these flowers that i got from amazon and so i purchased these on amazon and we're just gonna add them to the balloons hopefully it doesn't pop any of my balloons because we don't need that we need the balloons to stay nice and full so let me add this on right now and then i'll show you guys how it looks so here they are they look nice and pretty and it gives it that pop of color that my balloons need this is for a dia de los muertos themed party and here i'm gonna add some more i got these at hobby lobby so we're also gonna add these to the balloons it's gonna look beautiful and i did forget to mention guys it is nighttime so they're just gonna sit here hopefully they don't lose too much air and i will put them up tomorrow so it is the next day and now here's our backdrop we already have that up but now we're gonna try to put up this sign that says happy birthday and this is also from amazon i bought it at amazon but i did put tape or it's like a double-sided tape because i am gonna tape it to my backdrop because i do not want any strings showing i don't know how the professionals do it so that the string doesn't show because these are attached to each other but i'm gonna figure it out i'm gonna put these on here and we're gonna make it look pretty so here's the happy birthday sign guys i got it on and I was able to hide all the strings and now here's the cord that attaches the birthday part and I'm just gonna click it on there and then hide the string once again and here it is it looks so pretty now I have my neon light that I'm gonna turn on during the party so now I'm just gonna grab my balloons and I'm gonna go ahead and add them to the backdrop and hopefully it looks pretty I was trying to figure out how I was going to place my balloons and I realized that the flowers are going to have to wait because it's making it hard for me to hang the actual balloon part. So first, I'm just going to hang this balloons, make it look the way that I want it to look, and then I'm going to start adding everything to them. Now I'm going to grab these numbers. It's the one and the seven because my son is turning 17 and I'm going to add it to the backdrop. I made this on a separate video. If you guys want to go check out how I made those numbers, make sure you guys check out the video. But what do you guys think, guys? I love it. And here's a sneak peek of a picture. Look at how beautiful it looks. The backdrop is very simple, but it makes the pictures look amazing. Make sure you stay tuned for the party. You guys are all invited. I'll see you guys there. Adios, amigos.